So this morning, um, I woke up with a headache. Again, I don't know why. I'm wondering if there's something else I'm allergic to besides lact, you know, lactose that's causing these headaches sometimes. I'm about to go to judo and hoping to get some actual, I, I hope I walk away feeling better about where I am. A lot of mental um, processing going on today about, you know, my view of uh, competing and everything. I woke up this morning on my mind, I was thinking about all the things that I've been learning recently. And I've come to an understanding that I know what I need to do nutrition wise and exercise wise to get to where I need to be for November. I cannot claim ignorance anymore. You know, I was doubting myself before wondering, do I really know all these, you know, little secrets and everything that everybody else is tapping into in order to get to where they want to go in this competition world? I thought that there were coaches out there, nutritionists who had secrets that I didn't know. But come to find out, I actually know what to do already. And looking at some things behind the scenes and talking to people it made me realize you actually know what to do. You just have yet to implement it fully. So with that realization, it felt bittersweet because in my mind, it says to me, okay, you've learned, you've learned, and there's still more to learn, but you've learned, you've learned enough to get on the right path. Um, but at the same time, it makes it so that I have no excuse anymore. I can take what I've learned and move forward, or I can fall flat on my face. Something I realized about my personality is that when I um, overtrain, I fall off the wagon as far as exercise, not nutrition wise, but exercise wise. So overtraining is a term that personal training, personal trainers and athletes use when they describe a person who's been working too hard physically. They get to a point where they don't have any motivation to work out anymore. They get bored, depressed, etc. Their mood gets crabby and all of that. And I feel like I'm afraid to overtrain. Like I'm afraid that during this progress, I'm going to overwork myself so much because that's what I do when I start training that I'm going to fall flat on my face right before it's time to go on stage. Um, like in the last month or so and the thing about it is in the last month That's the time you're supposed to actually be pulling everything together and not falling apart And so like I'm worried about like once I realized all that I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to be a machine from July to November and Once I realized all the work I would have to put into it. I was just like If I do all that I'm gonna overtrain and I'm just gonna fall off so I just have to figure out how to train without overtraining, how to get as much in and still have my rest for my mind, most of all, and my body. So, you know, I don't run into that problem. And that's why I've been holding back as far as training wise, because I know how I am and I just don't want to go that hard yet. But by the time July comes, I'm just going to have to anyway, if I want to see the results I want to see. Um... This morning I had my usual three eggs, two bacon. Um, I switched to the lower sodium bacon so that, uh, because I found out that regular bacon, because of the preservatives, that's extra carbs. So the lower sodium actually has less sugar in it. I had my coffee and I've been drinking water, of course. For lunch, I had a Taco Bell a Fiesta Bowl. I didn't eat the shell. Um, that would have been 750 calories, but without the shell, it's only 450 calories, so dodged a bullet there. But I would have never eaten the shell anyway. But, um, and I don't ever get that. I just, that was just a spur of the moment thing. Um, so I had that. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. My taco salad wasn't enough, so I got some ground beef and put it in a lettuce, and that did the trick mindset is I'm gonna go on stage present my best self um, I know that judging is so subjective when I get judged if I don't walk home with anything 
I will still know that I did a great job and um, I'll get feedback from the judges on what I need to do to improve but it all just depends on the day and I'm just going to really focus on having a great tea walk um, leaning out as best as I can building up as much muscle as I can and that's just going to be it and um, if I do well I'll probably try to get another show in if not uh, I'm going to wait till next November to come back. And so between December and July of 2018, I'm going to be bulking so that I can present for figure next year. That's going to be my goal for next year. Anyway, I noticed some things on my body that I never seen. Wait, my arms, I'm starting to recognize some indentions. I don't know if it's going to come up good on the video or on picture, but... Um, I'm starting to get some indention on my arms. Um, I have a new muscle gain on my shin. Um, my core is really tight right now. So I'm noticing these changes and I'm not even really working that hard. And that's something I knew about my body. My body is, I can build muscle easily. So when I really start going hard in the gym, I know I'm going to be building muscles like crazy. But my thighs are getting so well toned and developed. I just can't wait for this fat to fall off so that you could actually see what's under there because it's really starting to come together with my legs. That's, I've always had, you know, ease with that. I realized that my depressive moodiness has been more of what's been going on at work. And not having to do with my um, eating and things. I was trying to figure out, was it my diet and the lack of carbs causing me to feel a little bit down? But really, it's about my work situation. And so, you know, I'm optimistic about next week or whatever. I'm not going to get my hopes up. But hopefully things will be better next week. But um, I realized that that's been impacting me you know mentally and so I'm, I'm really in prayer and you know trying to address that so um but today's been good a lot of reflection um i got a lot of good advice from the videos that i've been watching and so i'm just ready to get in judo and do my best today judo was great i learned a lot as usual Today, I was able to get out of my comfort zone and let people throw me and show me some things with me also aggressing rather than just standing there. <laughs> um, I did a couple of good throws today and uh, I learned a couple of new exercises, a couple of new stretches, which I appreciated that because I haven't had a good stretch in a while and I want to change that, but I keep forgetting. And I used to be all about stretching. Like that's, that was the first and foremost thing that I would do all the time. And now it's just falling to the wayside. So, um, I don't know. I know my shoulder hurts, so I don't know about what other ways I hurt myself tonight. I will know tomorrow. I'm going to practice a lot because it just feels like I just have, I always have a hard time like learning the mechanics of something like when it has to do with the body and uh, but when I get it, watch out because I'm going to be the best ones out there. But it, it always, I always start off like an ugly duckling. I look clumsy and goofy for a while. And once I get over the learning curve, it's like poetry emotion. That's how I've always been with dance. And I feel like this judo is kind of like dance, you know. Um, tonight I'm going to have Wendy's Chili. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing because I, I need to go grocery shopping. So I don't know what else I'm going to have with that. I have a good amount of calories left. And uh, I'm just going to relax. Feeling good. I'm in a good mood. Um, I honestly only feel like I'm in a bad mood when, whenever I have to come home from work and I, all of that, you know. I think that's it.